My enemies are many. My equals are none. Welcome back to part seven of my France Let's Play for Napoleon Total War with Darth Mod. We continue where we left things off last time. Start of a new turn. We've already got some stuff going in and being built because we don't have much money left. I do need to repair the Classical University because that has been hit by Rebellion. That will be sorted next turn so that won't carry on. I say Rebellion, the, the, the startings of Rebellion. Got a solid army in Vienna now, which I'm quite happy with. It just needs artillery and probably some cavalry. Artillery will be able to get in two turns from there. So Davo, I'm not sure if I want to completely abandon this this front at the moment. I say front. We're not actively at war with Austria, but the Ottomans aren't far behind. And I would imagine war with Austria is going to resume pretty swiftly. But the more forces I can throw against Britain to swiftly knock them out the quicker we can be back over here and going east again so that that's kind of what I'm thinking um I don't know if I can move my spy out of here and whether that'll break down the spy network we just established I would imagine he's got to stay there but let's I guess let's try and test things out but pop this guy into Berlin see if he can get in there he was detected, so he couldn't get in. Oh, and then he just went straight in. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at them. They got the Silesian Schutzen. Oh, killer skirmishes. 71 accuracy. That's diabolical. Well, of course. Of course, the Prussians are going to be well armed. We got Von Blücher there. Lovely. Um, Yeah, if we could create a, a view, that'd be nice. I mean, let's just see what happens if I... Pop you. Let's go into Prague and see if if that if we lose the fog of war around that next turn, then we know that we can't move our spy on once a spy network has been established. But I kind of, I mean, I guess it gives you vision over all of the region, whereas a spy just in there um, just gives you initial vision around it, not the whole whole region, the whole province as such. So I kind of understand if it if it does fade. But let, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Um, for now, I'm going to pop you, Davo, on the bridge here. To try and sort of posture that Austria and Russia should not try and press the attack against us. Because we're in a strong position. We've got more merchantmen. Let's grab them all together. Just check my army here. Again, a lot of infantry. Um, now, I did see some it's comments about my use of the old guard, which I will admit I'm pretty gung-ho with the old guard. Some of you were saying if you're using the core system and trying to play historically that way, would you also consider utilizing your old guard um, as they were historically used, which is as very much a last resort troop. The best of the best sent to hammer the, the enemy line only at the kind of the most critical moments of battles, only when the reserve really needed to be called in. And... I'm, I'm kind of I want to hit some middle ground because I don't want to constantly keep the old guard back and never end up using them because they're some of the coolest and best units in the game especially for France and I, I don't want to not see them in action which is why I've been fairly gung-ho about getting them stuck in there I don't want to be like ah oh, seeing them lose so many troops personally I never have that issue with Napoleon just because yeah they'll replenish they'll be fine um they're just numbers on a spreadsheet ultimately at the end of the day i'm, I'm afraid but um yeah i i what i would like to do is have the old guard linked up specifically with these grenadiers of the line eventually have more old guard in here and what i would say i would aim to do is not have them as part of the main regular line have them as an initially a reserve force stands back but i would then like to actively use them to either hammer a specific flank or or, you know, charge on out through the center at key pivotal moments to do some massive critical damage. It will mean that they will be susceptible to some fairly hefty losses, which is not historically accurate on how they were, you know, used and, and kind of a bit more care taken, taken of them. But I, I don't want to just keep them back as like toy soldiers, perfectly pristine in a box. I want them to get bloodied and to, to inflict casualties on the enemy. I will try and use them more efficiently 
but I, I will underpin that by saying I will use them still. I will not just keep them fully back in reserve. I will keep them as their own separate force, probably paired up with some other elite troops or grenadiers to then slam into the enemy line at key points. That's that's what I'm aiming for with the old guard and, and kind of going to be my, my tactical use of them, which I think is kind of a fair like middle ground of, of utilizing them and deploying them. I'll bring up Ney and Napoleon. Oh yeah, that you're going to go over here and join Mira, who's going to hold off the Prussians. I was quite happy with how the uh, Colon uh, attack, the Colon attack worked last time. That was quite enjoyable. Okay, I'm getting things. I want to get more cavalry. I want to get better cavalry. We need to get mass mobilization, which we need to research. So we'll do that once we finish one of these. In fact, actually, I'm not bothered about diamond formation. Let's go for that instead. Do, 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 do. Um, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, it's all fine there. We're building that to have artillery. I want to upgrade it again. You know what? We need artillery for this army. We'll supply that from Vienna so long as it's not pressed soon. Right, merchantmen. All of you come over here. Join in the fun. You guys just been blocked. Oh, Sicily, yeah. And Naples, yeah, I might try and have some little little fights against them. Keep sending them around this way. Oh, crap. Ottoman ships. I mean, they're going to probably press the attack on me. Not a huge amount I can do. Anything I can do, actually, at this point. Because I don't have any spare ships. We're looking to deploy our navy soon we are just waiting for these 122 guns first rate ships of the line to get actionable which well, by the time they're ready to go we can then get napoleon what have you over so yeah we'll, we'll move we'll move napoleon over to uh Brittany. but i'll just check to see if there's any extra troops that we can get next turn that would be good to include in his army um someone was also asking about the grand battery we can't get it yet, but it is we can get it from the engineer school, I believe. The grand battery of the convention. Which is just disgusting. And yes, we will be getting that along with a rocket troop. I'll be glorious. I don't think there's anything more we can do. I feel like we've 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 moved all of our forces where we need to already. It's just the merchantmen we need to Oh actually. Speaking of merchantmen, um, let's get another one. All I can do is one. Yeah, get another one on for now. You guys will help bring more income. The other two that are coming, unless they get taken out by the Ottomans. 8,360 to 8,960. I mean, we are absolutely cornering the market on ivory. Spices, though, and sugar. Have we got any along here? That's spices. That's tea. I've, oh, there's more ivory there. Tea, tea, sugar. Just because if we split our ships a little bit, because now that we've saturated the market with so much ivory, it's actually brought the, the price down. So if we split across spices and sugar as well, we should actually get even more income. So if I take those four, 8,960 down to 7,332, go on to the spices, that's 2,485, uh, no, we're actually not getting more money, I thought we would get more, I mean, we're only just short, but that's probably better long term to keep building them up, oh wow, spices really dropped very quickly, maybe sugar would be a better one to go for, Okay, let's try sending three onto sugar. Although, ah, Portugal's got to be on that one. Is that also sugar? It is. I can't see anyone on that. So over you go to sugar. Yeah, there we go. Right. Oh, wow, that's not even as much as I was hoping. Wow, okay, it really takes a, a dive. And if I bring you guys back to the ivory trade... 7,785. Nearly same. It's still, we were getting more with them all just on ivory. I, okay. 
I underestimate the value of ivory. But we probably don't want to pile too many more in there anyway. So if we can get these ships across, join in, that'll be fine. Right, let's end the turn. Oh yeah, we had that little force moving across there. Russia having a good old think. Where are you sending your ships? And tango with some naval battles together. The Batavian Republic. They sided with the Ottomans. So I'm quite wary of them right on our border. We may have to deal with them. Hmm. <sighs> But yeah, the more the more ivory we, yeah, here we go, we, we're sat on. Ooh, wow, okay, you got some decent ships. Get away, they're gonna chase though. I would have thought. The more more merchantmen we put into the ivory, ultimately the lower the price will go because we're just kind of oversupplying it. Rip, rip merchantmen. So that's why ultimately it's better to spread out across multiple uh, trade resources than just sticking on one. But we haven't quite hit the the optimal point yet. Oh, no, I let the rebellion. I was worried that this might happen. Multiple revolutionary armies. And they come with a lot of solid troops. Damn. They only, I thought it wouldn't count because it would have dropped. The resistance foreign occupation was still going to drop by minus one and it would zero out. But clearly that was... Uh, Still too much. Damn it. Yeah, we might need to think about a bit of fleet protection over here. Because if that Ottoman Navy goes after all my merchantmen, I'm going to be in trouble. Desperately want to be in a position where I can knock out Nelson or at least the armies that are in there. Napoleon's not going just yet. So, I mean, I could send you guys down, or part of you, actually. They had, like, a 64-gun ship, didn't they? So I'd probably have to send some of the 72s. Got four turns left on these guys. I don't want to leave them there forever. Actually, if we wanted to replace these with something comparable down here, we'd need to upgrade that dry dock. I think my money's probably still best spent. I'm just getting a load of merchantmen from all the available ports. But I am going to need some naval presence down here. Take this small force. Down you come for now while the rest of the fleet is being added to and built up. Dry dock eventually there. But once Britain are gone, there's no one to really challenge it anyone on the waves upgrade the roads that'll be good long term can't upgrade that until we've got the technology so it's nine turns on that i do need to repair you um but now i've got to pull this army to clear away the revolutionaries and possibly even send you guys down here deal with that force have we got the artillery no one more turn till that's ready You're going over here to Murat, because as much as the Prussians would like to advance, we'll hold them comfortably at the bridge. For some time, at least. Uh, oh, that was the six and eight pounder cannon, so there's some support there with the infantry. Yeah, that's fine. Um, still can't recruit anything here, although I don't think... Is anyone else we can get here? Let's go into Napoleon's army right now that we would want to add in over his, his current selection of troops. So I think Napoleon can march to Brittany along with Ney in tow, ready for the invasion of Ireland and the UK. 
for the time being. Let's just have a little look at the diplomatic relations of the Batavians. I need them to break their alliance with the Ottomans or for us to be able to get peace with the Ottomans. Oh! Just like that. Okay. Now, can I ask an alliance here? Yes. Good. Okay. That completely shores up my my eastern side there. I don't have to worry about them just yet. Now that we've pieced out with the Ottomans. I guess it's because they couldn't press against us. They did win a quick victory with their fleet, so they shouldn't threaten us again. For a little while, at least. That's good. Oh, boy. That was very convenient. Happy days. I mean, they don't like anyone apart the, apart from the Dutch. Dutch don't particularly like me, but hopefully that will improve. Uh, just so I didn't, I didn't dishonor the treaty though. You guys did. Damn Dutch. <laughs> Love you really. Um, yeah, well, that's that's fine. That's still got some prep work to it. How are we doing on our sugar? Send the merchantmen over to Ivory because we can still build that up a little bit. I think it's about 9,000 income from it. Should be maxing out the supply. 8,300. Yeah, we know we can get it a little bit higher than that. I think probably like lower than 40 and then we need to kind of cool off it. But otherwise it's fine. Right, well, let's have a battle. Fairly sizable one, I'd have thought, as well. Dealing with these revolutionaries. France is the only acceptable revolution. If you rebel against it, you will be crushed. You've got enough Jaegers there. Roddy heck. Some solid cannon, though. And a lot of Dragoons. It's going to be nasty. In we go. Uh. Right, where can we deploy? What I'm hoping happens is they charge forward with all the cavalry and then we can counter charge with our own cavalry onto their artillery. Because there ain't no way. That we can match their cavalry force to start with. So I'm going to start with you guys here, hidden. Those guys will flank and skirmish. I think we're just going to sit back. Mainly because there's not a lot of great areas for our cannons to fully deploy. So I'm going to go for... I don't want to go too wide, actually. Go there. Go there. Nope. Not there because of the terrain. Down there. There's a little bit there, but that's okay. In fact, you guys are going to be a double, a double one here. So that is a nice little area there. Lovely. Probably move you a smidge over. That's good. Right. So foot guards, the mariners, you're my best troops. So either we want you in reserve or holding the central part of the line. 44, actually, the uh, French-Irish legion are pretty tough as well. Actually, no, I lie. My best troops are these Portuguese legion. I have the Irish there. They're insanely accurate. The Mariners here. You guys can actually act as skirmishers, but I find it boggy at best. So I'm going to keep you guys on the flank with my skirmish cavalry.
Um, these two units, I'm just thinking, where do I want to use them? I think they'll just be my reserve troops, actually. Through the center here. To defend that cannon. Along with Davo. Okay. Start. The enemy by the throat, and then hit him in the vitals. It's the most basic strategy and is always valid. Have one part of your army hold the enemy in place, while the rest maneuver to kill him. I like that. Go for the throat. Nice. Um, yeah, you guys should not be there because they'll just fire on you. I'm going to risk it and hope that I manage to, well, be able to cover enough attention to catch them. The artillery is still moving. Oh, that was another thing that was brought up saying, like, Lionheart, was I aware that targeting enemy units with artillery in this and actually I think pretty much every total war that's ever followed on because it's still part of the core engine design that was established with Empire Total War and then Napoleon is that artillery will tend to fire at the edges of infantry lines and just um, enemy units so you're actually better off attacking the ground in front of them to either get the shot to bounce through or to more accurately target a specific point in the line if you attack the ground just in front uh the reason why i don't tend to do this that often is because it massively increases the amount of kind of management that you need to do and i would rather just have the artillery constantly firing at a specific unit so i can then forget about it rather than clicking on a point in the ground forgetting about it or not catching it in time and pulling that point further back basically over time um but yeah especially when you're setting up like kill zones with and a shot on river crossings you want to aim at the ground in front which is what i've actually done with some river crossings in this campaign already so far but um yeah thanks thanks everyone for all the advice you guys sharing so far with this campaign really do appreciate it it's really solid does darth Maul lock new troops yes it does yeah adds in i think i think there's well over like 100 new troops added across all the factions available it really does uh, kind of fill out a load of factions. Some, I think, perhaps too much. But it gives you that you're not forced to recruit them. I do like that it has unit caps on quite a few units as well, so that you can't just recruit the strongest and the best of all of them. I'm thinking with them targeting my own artillery here, I'm going to have to go in for theirs. Especially because they've pulled their cavalry all the way over to one side. For the most part. So I'm going to rush these hazards up to the forest here. Hopefully they'll be hidden again. And they can swoop in. Knock out the artillery that stayed on the high ground. While the rest have tried to redeploy. You guys are down to one cannon. That is absolutely spectacular shooting. From our own artillery. I mean we are using the horse drawn artillery. So they are quite good at sniping enemy artillery targets. It's a good result yeah. Moving up with the cavalry instantly. AI is responding and sending their cavalry back on over to try and cover that flank and protect that artillery, or at least be closer, which is the main dangerous thing. Their Jaegers, the Austrian revolutionaries, will be hidden, won't they? So there's going to be a massive wall of them suddenly appearing. All of our artillery fine for now. Yeah. I mean, their enemy artillery is targeting a mix of my cannons and infantry. Are these guys hidden? That one is. Not this. I'm going to try and get you to hide in the trees quickly so that they forget about us and they pull away. Otherwise, they're going to charge us here. No, they've seen us. Okay. Okay. Also, my artillery needs to be manually set to fire on some of these guys now. So that one can just... I'll just leave you automatically firing on them. Whoa, got enough skirmishes over there, guys. I mean, the cavalry should be pretty good at taking out skirmishes. They're struggling against that cavalry, against the dragoons. 
because we're only light horse. So let's send these Hussars in. Because if we break the Dragoons, then in we can go against the Jaegers. That cavalry will fall swiftly, then I hopefully I can go into all these guys. I'm surprised they haven't been out and about placing a load of stakes unless they can't do it. Move these guys up here to deal with the Dragoons. Here we go, they're coming forward. That artillery has been completely knocked. Oh no, they have placed some stakes over there. They're going to reform, so pull the cavalry back. Especially because they're just drawing more and more Dragoons to us. So, in fact, we will pull back. Most of their artillery has been weakened and knocked out. That unit on the hill remains their only fully functioning set. Although, this one is now redeployed. even targeting it automatically should knock them out if it doesn't we'll move in skirmishes are going in which is good what are you guys doing you're in a fun time over here aren't you go over there if we can maneuver around to deal with the artillery up there that would be great that one back there let's pull them back for now Move forward. There we go. That's what I would like to see. Okay. Portuguese Legion should do some pretty hefty damage. In fact, just holding the flank, I should have you guys in just a skirmish mode. more of them will fire as well this way keep letting you guys fire in fact i'm going to pop you guys on skirmish mode I can get a canister get a canister get a canister they dart down the line. They've gone. Good. Perfect timing. Right. They're clear of the Dragoons. They've still got that unit back there. Can't go in yet. Switch to canister. And blast them. Give me some fine shredding. Yeah, they're going to go into these guys. No, that's fine. There we go, cavalry. Take out the artillery on the high ground. Off you go. In goes these guys. Save the Portuguese Legion. Nice. Fire across. Just keep firing. Just keep firing. There you go, go. Swooping on in. Bye bye, cannon. Ooh, actually, that one's going to need to be attacked by these guys as well. So, those stakes they've carefully placed. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! Pull you guys around behind. Let 
move to the high ground. Reform your battle line. Oh, the sound of those Jaegers just rattling off shot. Wowzer. Okay, you guys got to be very careful how you maneuver out here because you're surrounded by stakes. So head out that way instead. Need to go and support these guys the against Dragoons victory, if we can. Is soon to be yours. That's looking good for us. That's it, get clear of the stakes. Swing on round. Yeah, they're doing great, our cavalry. Nice. In you go. See them all off. Lovely. Maybe you can just don't turn around and go straight back into those stakes. So that will not be good. Don't turn. Retreat. That way. Retreat forward. Keep holding. The revolutionaries will not best us this day. Not the best deployment for those guys, but they're still doing pretty well. We may have to hunt them down after this. Depending on losses, I might risk the order resolve, see what that's like. Depends how many of them are left. Enemy general is down. Beautiful. And yeah, you know what? I'll just end it there rather than hunting more of them down for now. Right. We lost 565. Not bad at all. And how many of them are left? 237. Okay, we'll definitely order resolve that. Oh, no, they're, they're dead. Where they stand? Ah, oh, that's really annoying. I can't quite reach you guys. But, I mean, I could march out my force from Vienna. I might even try and just order resolve it, actually. You guys pull back here. Keep Vienna happy. You know what? I'm going to... Well, there's very much. I'm going to quick save. And if this is an absolutely diabolical order resolve, then I'll reload and I'll fight it myself. But let's just see what, how the order resolve handles this. We lose 826. I think that's actually fine. Not lost a whole unit anywhere. Yeah, not bad. Okay, they still are standing though, so we'll need to go finish them off with another battle. Might lose that unit there. We'll see. 392 lost. Against, like, that is where it really shows up. When you're fighting that small force, you're like, mm, how do we lose that many? Go back over here. Can Davo move out? Yeah, send him over to them. Because he will then enable them to replenish. And we've got fast replenishment, so yeah, that's fine. We don't need to fight all of them. Good. I've got to admit, I love fighting um, battles in Napoleon, but especially with the... Italian and the Egyptian campaign where I really felt for the vast majority of the campaigns I just couldn't afford to take an order resolve because it would be too critical to the rest of the campaign slowing me down or um, you know not having enough troops to replenish them 
if uh, if I took the order resolves and more punishing order resolves than fighting them myself is nice when you can just go yeah you know what that's okay can I duel him I mean you're not researching anything at the moment might as well although well, that'll, that'll upset Austria if I kill off their agent I mean they don't like me anyway does it matter? Does like an enemy agent in there? They're neutral, so I should, probably shouldn't do anything. If we go to war with them, we'll, we'll kill him. Oh, so do they do they impede your ability to research if they have enemy agents in there? Not sure. Right, that's all we can do for this turn. So let's end it. Yeah, I am a little bit worried about Spain, but I'm just hoping they're doing military exercises of marching up and down, back and forth all the time. Spy network established. Lovely. Oh, and look, wow. So we get the whole view. Oh, yeah. Did we, did we lose it over here? We do. Okay. So you lose the vision over the region once spy network has been established if you move the spy. But the benefit is you get full line of sight over everything, which is actually incredible in London. It makes sense that you would lose the uh, spy network if you moved your spy away, because who are they reporting to? That's nice, though. We do like that. Do, 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 do. That's the fleet I want to take out, but I can't do that. Uh, I could do that if I could blockade that port, but they're in, they're going to in, instantly intercept me unless I hit them with a, probably an, uh, a fleet of equal strength, and I just can't muster up that much strength at the moment. Um, yeah, so I pulled you guys back, but we're now not at war with the Ottomans. But you know what? I might still try and have a naval engagement. With Sicily. They're stuck in the port, so I'd have to kick them out. Uh, Naples had a force. We'll just have a little wander around. I don't think there'll be anyone that will threaten these guys, especially a 122 gun ship floating around. Let's get our merchantmen going. And you know what? Before I forget and spend my money on other stuff, let's finally get that repaired. Right, we'll take the army out. Davo, back to your force. We'll pop you guys back into Vienna. There we go. Everybody's happy. Military crackdown. Happy days. Uh, we can now get the artillery that we want. And I'm... Even though they've got more... I'm going to stick with the horse artillery for now just because they're so useful. I'm going to go with four as well. One, two, three, four. At least we space for two more units. Technically, I guess we could pop a general in here um, to hold. And then another unit of cavalry. I guess we should probably stick with chasseurs. Seeing as that's what we've already got there. Yeah, it'd be a solid force. So Davo, we could pull back if we wanted to. To help with Britain. Um, I mean, looking at their armies, they don't have that many. I don't actually think we need that many more. So I will send you back to your bridge to hold there. I think the combination of Napoleon and Ney should be enough because we'll hit Ireland first, then Edinburgh, and then march down probably to knock the British out at London first, then swing over to Cardiff. We might be able to split 
and draw those forces out from London by going over to Cardiff first, actually, and then we could hold the bridges. So we may try and do that, actually, and lure them to us. It depends how they react with these armies on ships. Depends how they react there. We shall see. Get the merchant men over here ready. We'll pop both of you guys over to the ivory. 44 on the world market right now. 41. 9,184. That's not what I want. That one. Cook is actually lower than I'd have thought. That's okay. So we probably want to go for spices next. Maybe one or two more into ivory. Off you go. Merchantman, merchantman. More, more. I could just stack up a load of them to be fair, but I'll just leave them all doing their own thing for now. Did we ever get this port upgraded? No, we didn't. Start doing that to get more powerful ships out. I'll do it, but we do need to focus on our economy stuff as well. But let's bring both of you guys over to Brittany on holiday. It's the annual Emperor's Retreat. But of course. We've got all that in there. Uh, Venice, you also need artillery, which yeah, either we're getting through. Oh, yeah, we need to upgrade that further. So, yeah, we'll recruit more from there. So, if we gave you four units, you've got a bit too much cavalry, I'd say. I will, I will give you some more lances. And you know what? Just to have a little bit of variety, let's let's pop these guys in. See them right now. The Chessos Flanders de la Garde. Light skirmishes. Just have a bit of a mix. Again, I like to just theme my armies or just make them stand out, be a little bit different. All right. Anybody? Just keep checking this every so often, see if there's anyone new that we can trade with. Tavians, they are liking us a little bit better, which is good. The Ottomans, mm. Pressure, 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 pressure. Are they making any moves here? No, but you can finally have your artillery. We should set up a spy network in Berlin soon as well, and that'll give me a good view on what they're planning. Wouldn't mind having a few more spies active within Austria's sphere of influence as well in their territory. Okay, Prussia sending more troops west. No surprise there. But will they actually push or will they just wander back? Well, they've got a few gathered at Hanover. Intellectual advance, classical economics, lovely. Agent detected. Oh, we're allied. That's fine. <laughs> Don't take out them. Competent banker. Oh, my gentleman. Oh, good. Nay was blocked. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Okay, that's fine. How much longer till those new ships are ready? I mean, we could sail them now. We don't actually could go to Ireland right now. We've got plenty of movement. I don't think they've got many force. We don't need the more powerful ships just in case we get caught or whether our conquest of Ireland and then Edinburgh spurs them to move their fleet. So, yeah, you know what? I will wait until I've got those new ships. Ideally, I should probably... I've pulled these guys back by now. So let me get you guys back. Because we'll need our full strength if we're able to catch Nelson with his pants down. We'll go for some spices. Because yet yeah, demand for them has increased. Lovely. And just get more merchantmen out. 
send you guys over to uh, the ivory node. See if we can get up to 10k, and then I think we'll leave it at that. Yes, boom. There's still a good amount for that, actually. I'm quite pleased to see. I am with you guys. Actually going to get you... I'm actually going to queue up a little bit. We're going to send them with this six of them ready to go. For here, we'll keep going with individuals. We'll queue up a few, though. That's going in six turns. Right, we should try and invest in some economic advancement. The merchant houses are particularly good. The salted pork is particularly good. I never, like, it's something that sounds similar to that without that line being etched into my brain. We haven't got a spy network established there yet. Also, wasn't isn't one in Prague, but I'm not sure if I need one there. I may move you on. We'll see. You guys got another turn. And then we want to do more artillery for those guys down there. Which I... We'll wait, actually, until we can do a fresh recruit next turn. Throw in some Lancers. Let's keep in all of our territories. We could do the Manufactory or the Gunsmith, but we'll do the Manufactory when we've got a little bit more gold. I'm taking it easy. said i'm still I'm not sure what i'll do with my allies that stay with me long term but i i wouldn't mind fully painting the map in french colors so we'll see how much is tea worth 27 so nowhere near as much sugar are they on that ivory let's just see no they're not So that was like 2,000. So if I pop you all onto the ivory and we get more than the sugar, you know that for now it's still worth it. No, okay. So we're, we've now hit the kind of critical mass point where there's too much kind of ivory. Yeah. Because that alone and the sugar is worthwhile. That's not bad from the ivory. So... That's actually lost a little bit. Because of that one. So if I take you off. Does that increase? Yeah, it does. Pop you back on. That's 740. We get more with this setup. Or I would assume more if I popped you in here. I think that's the last ship that can go into it. Ooh, no. We've still got more having it separate, really? I think. Maybe maybe it's about the same. I'll put one on there to control the ivory trade. Probably, uh, I should have looked at that. There we go. 21,887. 21,000... 663. Then I'll have to put you back in there to see if it compared, but I guess it's the same amount. We'll leave it there. Okie dokie. I think that's all we can do, but exciting times ahead. Our invasion of the UK should begin next episode next time which will be out on monday and we'll probably record or stream record a few more of these episodes throughout next week as well so keep your eyes peeled for that oh okay russia went in to strike Is that um hess kessel and then instantly withdrew president send more forces in they've got the armies there they're trying to consolidate
Saxony wants peace. You're only at war with me. I will counter you an offer of just peace. Uh, okay. Note to self, we can get peace with Saxony if we give them a teeny tiny bit of gold. Might be able to offer them technology instead. As long as it's not a critical bit of military tech. I don't mind giving them economic techs, to be honest, to the AI. Ah, here we go. Spy networks established. Lovely. Oh, God, look at that. That's helping really. And in Berlin. That Berlin one is huge because we can see all the Prussian armies gathering to funnel on through. Oh, spy networks. How did I not know about you? I think it's probably like I've never ended up putting spies in settlements before. That's incredible. Still learning new things about Napoleon Total War like 12, nearly 13 years after it came out. Incredible. Uh, is that army there? Are you in my territory? I feel like you are. I mean, I could... Oh, it's von Veluca. I could press the attack. Knock him out and probably get back with Muir. I'd go for a lightning strike. I will let YouTube comments decide, though. Shall we strike with Muir? Knock out von Blucher and pull back? Or shall we hold at our bridge? And also, I guess, Saxony. Peace or let him burn. You guys let me know. Until the next one, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.